What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we've been on this platform. Uh, I've been MIA on other platforms, uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all the other things. Kind of on TikTok, but not really on TikTok. Uh, but I'm super excited to be back here uh, as more of a long form um, way for me to share some tips and um, creativity on being a full stack creative and a creative entrepreneur. So if that's why you're here, if you're trying to better yourself, then please stick around, hit the subscribe button, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna be posting on here a lot more regularly now that we have all this additional time. So if you're watching this after the fact, I'm referring to the COVID-19, this is in 2020, and we're all stuck at home. We're all at home all the time. And for some of you, this may be a new challenge. And for some of us gig economy people, this is something that we are very familiar with, making anywhere your office, whether it's a cafe, whether it's your home, whether it's your dining room or your bedroom or even your sofa, getting work done and getting it done well while you're still having to do other things like answer the phone, take care of kids, do scheduling, put kids for naps, go for a walk, try not to get the virus. Try not to get the virus. All of these things are all on our minds and how are we gonna pay our bills? So I thought I'd jump on and maybe give a few pointers of some of the stuff that since I've been doing it now for a while uh, on how to succeed while working at home, while working amongst chaos. And this is uh, my top five things that you should try doing. Number one, do a schedule. It doesn't have to be a perfect schedule. I just mean do a schedule. Do a schedule that you can roughly identify. Here are the things that I need to get done. And here are the things that I'd like to get done. And then leave a lot of breathing room in this time, especially if you have, you know, maybe you're taking care of somebody uh, elderly. Maybe you have kids in the home. Um, or maybe you have a spouse that may need you and want to maybe talk to you or see you. Uh, so leave some breathing room in there because things are going to be flexible. Things are going to be moving rapidly. Uh, or changing rapidly rather in any given day. So have a schedule, write it out, put your alarms, all the stuff you would normally do at your job, do it at home. That's like the number one thing people forget to do is like, hey, treat this like your job. Get up, get dressed, follow your regular routine, your schedule, whatever it may be, and take a second and write it down, maybe as a family, and that might help you carve out some real good time to see what you should be doing next. Next thing is start with a clean workspace. Notice I said start with because a lot of times by the end of the day or the middle of the day, my desk or my work area is a complete disaster. Right now, most of the time I'm working in my dining room. It, it allows me to be close to the kitchen, close to the to the kids and the family to see what's kind of going on, but it still provides enough privacy because it has doors that I can be on a phone call. Um, and it gets crazy in there. I have camera bags and I have my laptop and I have my notebooks and all hard drive all out. This is stuff that you probably you might be frustrated with if this is new to you working from home it's okay to have a messy work area but your mind your brain is going to love you so much more if you start every day before you open up and start doing emails start by clearing everything putting everything back the way it was it's like uh, uh being lazy in a more active aggressive way okay instead of being passively lazy and never wanted to put anything away you can just simply i think i don't want to ever have to clean up a ton and ton of stuff so I will actively always put things away before I start and that way I'll have a clean work area and then it gives you a good sense of uh, how you can get your day started number three this one's hard for me because I did this throughout my entire professional working career whether it's in corporate or agency or even uh, uh, self-employed don't eat at your desk don't do it don't do it Get away from the computer, get away from what you're working on and enjoy a meal with somebody. Maybe if you're by yourself and you're self isolating or social distancing, this is a perfect time to maybe like schedule a meal with a friend and you can like FaceTime or call them and do all that type of fun stuff. You know, just you have to give your brain and your mind a break. It's a muscle. And this, in, but seriously, if you constantly are just in the thick of your work and you don't give your, your body or your mind reprieve, you're gonna be, you're gonna miss something because you're gonna be too close and too deep into it. So take a breath, take a second. And when your mind breathes as a creative, this is something that you 
you might already know, this is when you start getting your inspiration and your ideas because you're a little bit further, a little bit distance from it. And when you are not thinking about it, somehow you're still thinking about it so that you're like, oh, I know what I should do. I should use Helvetica. Of course, of course, Helvetica. All right, so number three, don't eat at your desk. Don't do it. Number four, walk around when you're not on a video call. Right now, we're all trying to connect with each other, which I think is so uh, nostalgic and pretty cool. You got to call people on the phone or FaceTime them. You can't just go and see them the way you always can before. You know, maybe you're working with your work buddies or if you're uh, uh, in a co-working space like I was, you know, you see your friends that are there most of the time. But now we're kind of forced to do it the old fashioned way. Hey, I'm going to call my friend, not because I need something from them, just to have that friendly banter that we normally used to have. So call them and up and say hi and say how are you doing what's up what are you doing today and just when you're having those type of calls do it away stand up walk around get your steps in if you're counting steps um and try to have again have a break from what you're doing the more we spend time in front of our screens on our phone with our next crunch like this like that it's going to have long-term effects on us and if this is going to be our new reality for the foreseeable future for the next little bit then you want to take care of all of your stuff number five drink water given our health right now is top priority for everybody that we know for your neighbor for your family for everyone do the simple thing that you can do to keep yourself in tip top shape. So that's gonna be drinking water, uh, exercise, your vitamin or supplements, your prescription pills. Don't miss days, just go ahead and do all those things that you're supposed to do and don't skip out. And this is where the first thing, setting out your routine and your schedule is so important. If you treat every single day like it's a real day, then you won't miss on some of these things. But if you spend all day in your pajamas, well, it may be a little bit more lax than before your prescription you're supposed to have in the morning, you're having it at nighttime, and oops, I only drank coffee 100% of the day, and I did not have one ounce of water. You know who you are. So do yourself a favor, drink tons of fluids, take care of the basic necessities of your health. Don't just eat all the junk food, get yourself a, a proper nutrition, things that are gonna sustain you, keep you happy. Whenever you're choosing something to eat, think about how you wanna feel 30 minutes from then, and that's gonna help you greatly decide on what you should be consuming. Water is so good for you, it will again, alleviate some of that pressure in your mind, in your brain. It is so good for us to have. Drink tons of water, keep it nearby, keep it close by, drink your water. Lastly, go ahead and go outside. Now, listen to me carefully. I'm not saying go to your friend's house and hang out. I'm saying go outside, go to your porch, go to your backyard, do a little stretch, do a little walk, get fresh air. Anybody who works from home or any parents who are homeschooling or at home all the time uh, will know outside is your friend. Getting that uh, uh, fresh oxygen into your nostrils, into your brain is going to like alleviate pressure. It helps your mood scientifically, that is a fact. So if you do that maybe once or twice a day, just go on your porch, keep your social distance, do all those things and go ahead and just breathe, stretch, Think about something else. That's a great way that, you know, if the weather is permitting, it's not pouring rain or snow or whatever, go outside for your little break of, of work on your phone. If you're going to be on social media, do it outdoors so that you have some fresh air. I find that whenever I'm stuck on something, I go for a walk. Um, and that always helps me uh, think about it. Me doing some critical uh, listening and thinking away from my computer, away from a screen always helps me think about about it differently because I just placed myself in that situation. Uh, I hope these tips help. Um, I have some sidebar tips that are just like general tips uh, that can help you. Number one, put a case on your phone. Right now, I don't have a case on my phone. I, I'm trying to find my case. I took it off a couple weeks ago, but it's gonna be really hard for you to get your stuff replaced right now. So take care of all your tech. Um, there's no genius bar at the Apple store, right? All the stores are closed. So be mindful, be careful of all your stuff. Call your service provider, see if you can put stuff on pause, especially like your phone plan. We're gonna be doing a whole lot of Wi-Fi. So there's no point in keeping a big cell phone plan for no reason. Um, I hope these tips help. I hope all of this will help you 
be productive. If you're this is new to you, being at home all the time, don't worry about it. You're going to have off days. You're going to have days you're just going to want to chill out and just be with your family or chill out and watch a movie and all that kind of stuff. It's okay. Just don't miss back-to-back -back days. I would definitely encourage anybody who follows me, if you're a fan of what I do, uh, don't miss twice on any one topic. And last but not least, decide to come out of this whole Corona-19 uh, virus thing better than what you came in with. So learn a skill, do something, uh, and keep your schedule up. Keep what you've been doing going on. All right, guys? I'll see you soon. Bye for now.